Hello boys and girls, good morning. I'm sat on a rock in a park. I was actually trying to walk. <sighs> I was actually trying to walk to um, the library and talk at the same time, but I just, I can't because people walk past me and then like a car nearly runs me over. So I just have to sit. I'm just gonna sit on this rock and like tell you guys what this video is gonna be about. So as I said, I'm on the way to the library and that's because today, Suni gets his life in order. And I know that it might seem like my life is in order already and that I'm organised and that I'm a medical student and I know what I'm doing but the truth is that I'm not that organised everything is a mess that's about it, that summarises everything so I need to go to the library today, I have no classes um, today and I'm just gonna fix everything or try to now you might be wondering what exactly is wrong with my life like what is messed up it's my lab project I haven't really spoken about this before but I've been doing my lab project since October of 2018 and it's now January 2019 so I've been doing it for a few months and I need to hand in my lab report in March which is in two months which really is not it's not that long okay guys we've moved into a different location in the park I'm working with this person in the lab who's making my life very very difficult this is not an unfair judgment I have worked with this person for months and months and months and they just don't care about my project. Every single day that I have to go to this lab, I dread it and I hate being there so much. I'm supposed to have some data because I need to write all about my data. I need to write about all the methods and everything I did in the lab and then put that into 7,500 words and then submit that to be marked in March. And that makes up like half of this whole year's grade basically. Today I'm gonna get this sorted out hopefully. I'm just gonna email someone in charge which I've already done, but I'm gonna email a different person in charge and just try and organize a meeting and get everything sorted out because I'm struggling so much and it's just unfair because it's been months now and I'm about to break. This is how close I am. This is how close I am to losing it. So that's one thing I'm gonna to do today. Another thing I need to do is I have another dissertation this one is shorter and I don't have to collect the data, I just have to review papers. I'm gonna try and do a bit more of that. I've done about a thousand words out of 5,000 and again, this one is also due in March, so I'm gonna try and do some of that. So the first thing is to email and get the lab project sorted out and the second thing is to write more of my other dissertation. Let's go to the library now. For anyone who goes to my uni, my favorite library is in this prison-like building. Here. Okay guys, I'm eating lunch. Can you see that? I bought this like Thai chicken pot thing. Some updates are that I managed to arrange a meeting with the person in charge tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna meet them and discuss all of the issues I have about my particular situation. So when I get back, I'm gonna try and read some papers that I need to read and then I'm just gonna try and write that other dissertation, just write some of that. My mind is very preoccupied because I'm actually really stressed out by like my lab project and I have been to see people about the project and to like talk about my concerns but nothing's really been done and I'm just really frustrated now so I'm going to basically the meeting I'm having tomorrow is basically with the person who's in charge of the whole project and in charge of the lab so hopefully when I speak to them they'll be able to like make some changes and actually do something and maybe talk to the person who's giving me difficulty I don't know I just I just want it to be finished I just want to get my data and leave and never see that lab again. Okay guys, so I just got home, made myself a drink. Proud to be British. Okay, firstly, this is a very new filming angle. I've never filmed from this angle on my channel. And this is my bedroom. This is my bedroom door. This is my very disorganized 
um, like shelf thing please don't look at that that's my room literally that's my room my room is tiny but anyway that's beside the point i was thinking about what i filmed today and i realized that 90 percent of it was just ranting and me being negative but i still want to be objective and i realized that objectively my life is not that bad i have a house to live in i have food i'm healthy ish i'm a bit sick but i'm healthy and even if this situation doesn't get sorted out, I'm not gonna die. Actually, when I was in the library, um, just after lunch, there was this girl in a wheelchair and she was trying to get to the disabled lift. And the door was super heavy. It's a, a door for disabled people. It shouldn't be super heavy. So I went over to help her and I held the door open. She was super appreciative. She said thank you and she smiled. And it also made me realize that having a difficulty with a lab project is so much less important than your health. So I think just that situation, it kind of reminded me that, okay, so you, know, you need to put your problems into perspective and also not focus on them too much. So yes, I've decided to try and hold on to this problem less. If it can't be sorted out, if it can't be resolved and if it just continues, it's not the biggest deal. Like it makes life a little bit more challenging, but it's not gonna kill me. I'm gonna try and live with a more positive mindset just because I, I get negative so easily and I don't like it. I hate being like that. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope that if you're studying or if you're working or whatever you're doing, I hope it's good and well and there's no conflicts or hassles. And yes, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.